Welcome to the Navis Newscast for Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Honorable Dr. Terence Drew was officially sworn in as the fourth Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis by Governor General His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton during a significant ceremony on Saturday, August 6th at Government House. Prime Minister Drew was sworn in after the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party won the federal general elections held on August 5th, 2022, taking six of the 11 seats that were contested. The new Prime Minister took the oath of office, the oath of allegiance, and the oath of secrecy at the ceremony attended by other elected representatives, members of the diplomatic corps, and specially invited guests. It is indeed an esteemed pleasure to be given the opportunity by the people of St. Kitts and Nevis to be their Prime Minister. I consider it an office of service. And I also recognize that it is an office that I do not own, and I am only here at the behest of the people. And I also know that I am here for a limited time. And during the time that I am here, I vow to work closely with the members of my cabinet to be named shortly, to work with those who are in other positions in government, and most of all, to work with our citizenry, to extend a hand much closely to our Federation sister, or to our sister island, Nevis, so that whatever issues there are, that we can solve and resolve to bring our Federation ever closer together. I look forward over the next five years to serving the people of St. Kitts and Nevis with distinction, with respect, on the principles of good governance, transparency, integrity, so that our nation can be counted among those that are of the best. I want to end by saying once again, Thanks to all of you for being here this afternoon, and thanks to all who participated in the democratic process so that we can have a smooth passing of the baton and so that we can really continue the progress of our young nation. Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, accompanied by his soon-to-be-sworn-in cabinet colleagues, ceremoniously entered government headquarters on Tuesday morning, August 9th, to officially begin his work as Prime Minister. Meantime, in a statement, former Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris has extended best wishes to Prime Minister Drew on his new journey of leadership, saying he wishes him and all the other successful candidates in the general elections the very best. Dr. Harris appeals to members, supporters, and well-wishers of his People's Labour Party, PLP, to accept the results of the elections, saying the country must now move on in a manner that ensures the will of the people is preserved. Prime Minister Drew has also received expressions of congratulations from others, including Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, Prime Minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, the OECS Commission, CARICOM Chairman, President Chandrika Pasad Santoki of Suriname, and the United States Government. Meantime, three ministers in the Nevis Island administration have been duly elected to serve as members of the National Assembly of St. Kitts and Nevis, having won all three seats in Nevis for their political party, the Concerned Citizens Movement, CCM. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, Deputy Premier, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, and Senior Minister, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, contested the August 5th general election. Elections. According to the preliminary results announced by Supervisor of Elections Elvin Bailey in the constituency of Nevis 9, Mr. Brantley received 1,685 votes. Dr. Patricia Bartlett of the Nevis Reformation Party, NRP, received 1,279 votes, while Samuel Keynes of the Moral Restoration Movement, MRM, received 70. 
27 votes. In the constituency of Nevis 10, Mr. Evelyn received 616 votes, while Rohan Isles of the NRP received 229 votes. In the constituency, Nevis 11, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers received 1,172 votes. Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge of the NRP received 1,113 votes, while Patricia Mills Jeffers of the MRM received 22 votes. Still to come, CARICOM and OAS issue preliminary statements on elections in St. Kitts and Nevis. The details after this break. Have you signed up for the Nevis Water Department's new ePay platform? It's an easy, safe and secure process. Here's how to sign up. Have your water bill handy and log on to epay.neviswaterdepartment.com using your mobile phone, tablet or desktop and the rest of the process is easy to follow. It can also be accessed by going to our website at www.neviswaterdepartment.com and clicking on Pay Your Bill. Once you have completed the process and your account is activated, the app allows you to make payments directly to Nevis Water Department, get access to your account balance, have access to your payment history and interact with our customer service department through the help desk feature. Yes, it's that simple. So don't wait, sign up all of your accounts today. And remember, we at the Navy's Water Department are here to bring you, our valued customers, exceptional, exceptional service. service. Welcome back. The CARICOM election observation mission to St. Kitts and Nevis says the initial assessment of election day activities is that the voters were able to cast their ballots without intimidation or fear. In its preliminary statement, the CARICOM election observation mission says generally there was a level of calm except for the usual exuberance of party supporters which accompany election day activities. As a consequence, it appears that the results of the August 5th, 2022 general elections reflect the will of the people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. The CARICOM Election Observation Mission congratulates the Electoral Commission, poll workers, the political parties and their candidates, the security forces and the people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis on the level of maturity displayed in the peaceful execution of the election day activities. A full independent report will be prepared by the Chief of the CARICOM Election Observation Mission for submission to the Secretary General of the Caribbean Community, Her Excellency Dr. Carla Barnett. Meantime, the Electoral Observation Mission of the Organization of American States, OAS, led by former Prime Minister of Jamaica, Bruce Golden, congratulates the people of St. Kitts and Davis on their peaceful and responsible participation in the general elections of August 5, 2022. Members of the mission observed the process from the opening to the closing of polls and reported that the day proceeded in a generally orderly and peaceful peaceful manner. At the end of election day, the mission observed the process of sealing the ballot boxes at the polling stations, transferring them to the counting centers, tabulation of ballots, and the transmission of results at five counting centers in St. Kitts. The OAS report notes that the vote tabulation process in St. Kitts and Nevis, where all ballots for a constituency must be transported to and counted by the returning officer at a single location can result in extended delays in the determination of results. Past OAS missions to elections in the Federation have consistently recommended electoral reform that allows ballots to be tabulated by the presiding officer at each polling station immediately following the close of the poll. This has not occurred to date. 
Members of the mission departed St. Kitts and Nevis on August 6th. However, a small team will remain in the country as the final stages of the electoral process are completed. The mission will subsequently issue a more comprehensive report with its preliminary findings and recommendations. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.